Okay, so this is basically used to set up the, um, the proportions of a human body. Basically, everybody is, these all represent head lengths here. So everybody is one or seven head lengths from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. Also, your seven head lengths from the tip of your finger to the other tip of your finger. So this is how tall you are. So everybody's got this? Yes? Okay, so I want you to label it like this. Underneath the first line, I want you to write head. Extend the line right underneath the first one. Go to the second head. Make a line right across the center of it. Label this one neck. Go to the bottom of the third head. Label this one ribs. Go to the center of the fourth. Make a little line. This one is guts. To the bottom of the fourth head. This one is hips. And then go to the sixth head down. Make a line right there. That one is your knee. And on the very bottom is feet. Okay, so these are where all these things are going to be located on your body. Everybody has a ruler? Right. Okay, when we start doing this with the, uh, the models that we're going to be using, you won't be using the ruler. So today, the, the body basically is going to look very rigid, very stiff, because it's all measured. You don't usually want to measure anything because it gives it that uh, organic feel. Okay, so first thing. Go to the hip line and extend that line out towards the center of your page. You don't want to extend all these lines out or you're going to get, get real confused. Okay, so after you've extended the hip line, draw a straight line from the top line to the hip line. That's going to represent the center of the person's body or the spine. Okay, then go to the bottom of the headline. Just make a mark on that center line there and then draw an oval in for the head. And then you guys have already learned all the proportions of the face, so you could split that up real quick into the face proportions. Okay, the next step, line up your ruler with the neckline. And make just a straight line that goes across. These are going to represent the shoulders. Don't do anything, just make a line. And we'll get to the shoulders in a minute. And then mark, line up with the ribs line and mark the bottom. Mark a line where the ribs will be located. Now in this section between the neckline and the, the rib line is where you're going to draw the rib cage. You want to go just slightly above the neckline to compensate for the neck muscle. So right in here, just draw a rib shape, rib cage shape. Okay, before we go on, between this section here, I want you to find the center of it and just make a line across. We're going to actually get back to that in a second. I'll tell you what that's for. Okay, then go to the guts line. Extend it over here to this line here. And between the guts and the hip line, I want you to draw a pelvis shape, basically like a peanut or a figure eight. OK, 
Okay, then go line up your ruler with the knee line. And extend the line into your drawing over there. This is where the knees are located. So you draw legs, you draw them within the, the hip sockets. So there, it's the knee line. Add a little circle where your knees will be located. Then draw the line straight down to the bottom. Just put a little triangle on there for the feet. Okay, moving on to the shoulders. From the center line here, from the center of your body, measure one head length, turn it to the side, and that's how far your shoulders are apart. Just make a mark. So again, that's one head length from the center of the body, and then just draw a circle right inside. The shoulders line. And I kind of went above the, the neckline there too. It's just to help me kind of place where the muscles are going to be located.